So I'm going to keep this basic for animation. And we'll do the two, do the fireworks and the frowning face. So best way to do it is to insert a new symbol. And now we're in the fireworks. We're not on the stage anymore. And this is not going to be the world's best fireworks, but In fact, this is going to be a three work fireworks. There's frame one. Maybe I'll go a couple of frames. You can go FNF6. For me and my keyboard, I've got to go insert keyframe, right click. And so they're going to go that way, and that way, and that way. This would be a three frame or three key frame, three firework fireworks. Really, really simple. And with all these animations, it's a matter of time how nice you want them to be. Insert keyframe. And I guess the trajectory takes them up there. Maybe a bit bigger. Okay, whatever. And maybe they do break up. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's just break this up a little bit, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, right. There are my fireworks. That's the animation. It's not going to blow you away, but there you go. And I suppose they could just stay there. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. That is all I want you to be able to do. Okay, So the deal is you get into a new symbol, you do whatever you're going to do, you go, you go keyframes, you make changes, the changes can be scale, they can be color, they can be any changes at all, but the changes have to be on the keyframes. And then you go back. And I guess this would be on you win, so the fireworks would be right here. So when it goes there, you're going to get that animation again and again and again. It's going to repeat again and again and again. It's going to loop. And for the frowning face on here, because you've lost, you could go insert new symbol. And what could you do? Hmm. Not sure. I'll just draw something. So a couple of jaundiced eyes. Worry me. Nose. So maybe he starts off like this, and then over the course of a few frames. Now is the fun part. Let me see if I can do this. I think I think you can. Hmm. No, so. Suppose you do it this way. Get the points. Oh, there's all sorts of points. I want to make this easy, so let me. You can play around with all this if you want. Go for it. But for this, let's make it simple. Let's. How uh... about this? FNF6. I think this will work better. Yeah, okay. So he starts with no mouth. Oh, no, he starts with happy mouth. Then he gets here. And here I can be a little bit more creative. <laughs> this is my, my goal. My goal is to not get too schmancy because I'll never finish this. And, and uh, this is a whole course. People make big bucks doing doing animations like this. So anyway, there's one keyframe. And here's another keyframe. 
So I'm going to make him even more frowny. And the th final frown. He's got such a look at that. Now that's not a frowny face. I don't know what is. That's your animation. Maybe that's yeah, just bizarre. So maybe I'll just can I select it? Yeah, I'll just arrow key down. Okay, there it is. Okay. It's just gonna you lose, you got an animation. And like I say, there's so much more to this that I can get into, but I'm not going to, not uh, not online like this, and um, and it's not the focus of the course. But what I did want to do though is if you're interested in this sort of stuff, oh and by the way, so in terms of the basics, so we go back to the scene and this is gonna be animated on frame four. Right? So when we go there, it's gonna say you lose, you can have a frowning face. Done. Yeah, so if you want to though get into animation and learn a little bit more about it, you've got the internet and all sorts of great videos. Look up um, both Flash actually and Animate. But um, you can go new and play around with some of the sample files. And let me pick one. There's a bunch of different stuff they're showing you here. This will do. Yeah, this, and, and I almost need to stop talking because there's just so much probably that makes this up. Yep. Okay, okay, here we go. So here's some stuff. What's he doing anyway? Running away. He's scared and he's running away. Okay. And, you know, somebody's put a whole lot of work into this. And a whole lot of keyframes. But, again, this is for those of you that want to get into this. And learn a little bit more about it. There's nothing like taking a look at a pro's work. So what I'm going to do is just change a couple of these and talk a little bit about um, how things are arranged. I mean, you have the play, you have the zoom, blah 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 blah. Uh, what's he doing? He's been alerted to something, so I'm going to make him even more alerted. You've got keyframes, and you've also got tweens. And this is where I should just stop talking and just show you. So let's see. This is a dog ear. This is this dog ear. So let's have that dog ear just be a little bit more, more exaggerated. And maybe get even further rotated up. Point of rotation is in a good place. And I'll do the same thing with this ear. Here it is. Um, this is useful maybe for hiding it or showing only it. But I think it's fine to show everything at this point. So that one's also going to be made similarly to what I just did. Both changed and rotated a little bit. And, and and that gives you the that gives you enough to play around with, right? So I've made two edits to two parts of this overall animation. So now he's really surprised. I get exaggerated even more just for fun, because that's what you want to do when you're doing these sorts of things. Whoa. And we'll see the whole animation now and we'll see that he's got bigger ears. So back to the beginning. Does that take us back to the beginning? I don't even know how to get back to the beginning. Option. Uh, well, I'll just play the whole thing. Command Enter. This is our part here, I think. Coming up? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. And it repeats. So you can certainly get into to this if you want and um, go for it, you know. There's a bunch of different stuff that is focused in on in each of these sample files at the bottom. Like, uh, it's a bones. That's really interesting stuff, too. I think more simple. But anyway, go for it if you'd like. You don't need to. All you need to do is some sort of a simple animation on a you win and you lose frame.